Hello, Seth. How are we doing? We're okay. It's nice to see you here. It's not nice to be here. We got a lot going on today. <laughs> it's moving day. Actually, we've done a lot to the race shop, so I'm gonna show you guys. Hey, this is the same guy that hauled Francis home from Hickory for us. Yes, it is. Hey, well, as you can see here, me and Grandpa thought that we could get it from there to where it's going, and the gravel kind of stopped us. Yeah, apple don't fall far from the tree, does it? What's that supposed to mean? You and your grandpa together. Well, we were you accomplishing could, you something. Done this by yourself. Okay. What's going on, YouTube? Landon Huffman here, back with another shop video. We're here at Huffman Racing, and I've got a lot of new stuff to show you. We've been off-season grinding. My grandpa's been on a mission. We've poured a setup plate in the shop, in the old paint booth, a level concrete pad. Uh, we cleared out all the back area, so it doesn't even look like the same race shop back there. So I'll show you guys all that today. We're moving the dash car, as you've already seen, to another location and uh, trying to get this race shop ready to rock and roll for 2024 so that we can move our brand new RS racing chassis named Coco <laughs> in, uh, into the race shop here soon. So thank you guys for being here. Thanks for clicking on this video. If you have not subscribed to the channel, make sure you go ahead and do that. It helps us out here. And uh, yeah, we're gonna hop right into the video. New home for the dash car for now. We almost died. <laughs> it's close. Almost lost the limb. Yeah, we called it. There's a uh, a new addition. This concrete was all busted up, so Grandpa poured a new half to it. So we have this whole slab here, but you guys haven't seen any of this. This whole front area of the shop is cleaned off now, which is just phenomenal. Actually, incredible that it got to that point. I never thought I'd see it like that. Me either, but we're getting there. All right, so we've got this uh, bucket of string, yarn, whatever you want to call it. I've been offloading all of the used tires in the back into our shitty open trailer. I'm going to pull it with my Chevy van over shitty, to... Shitty ass van. Hey, easy, man. Over to Six Tire. Shout out to Six Tire Center, great sponsor of ours. And uh, put all of our old tires in there, used trailer for scrap, so... We gotta do that. As you can see, there's a, a mess in the middle part currently, but I'll show you the back area once we here's, here's my new get done with this. For the car store. Yeah. Pristine 2024 edition. Well, I forgot to take it in there. Now you've seen <laughs> it, so I was gonna wrap that up and give it to you for Christmas. Um. So now I can't do that anymore. Damn it. Here's my contraption I put together at this point. I don't know how safe it is. This side's not gonna come off though. There's my van. Look at that baby. Mm. I do some dirty things that thing. What, well, Seth? What do you need to do? We have a podcast to record today. Yeah, we need to get this done and get that done. Oh, no, 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 no. I gotta go get torn. <laughs> this looks pretty good. I think. Oh. Ah. It's all right. Not a problem. Seth says that my side, my side isn't gonna work, but I feel like it will. Is this for insurance purposes? <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is good enough. I mean, it's tie wrapped in there. If we start losing them, we'll just have to pull over. Okie dokie. All right, we got them unloaded. That was a lot of work, but uh, we didn't have no malfunctions either. Nothing blew off. Good job, team. We made it back with no issues. Seth's got to run home and feed his aminals. And uh, I'm gonna go down here and show you guys everything we've done in the shop. And then we're gonna record our Up and Racing Radio episode here in just a little bit. So I'm gonna take you guys in here, show you all the updates. It's still a mess. Um, and then I'll give you a sneak peek on our new late model chassis, which is still in the trailer. We haven't been able to move it into the shop just because we've been doing all this work. Like I said here, we've got that concrete poured. Grandpa got that done and all this stuff's cleared off here. And then I'll show you inside. Here's our paint booth area, or what was the paint booth, but now we've got this nice level concrete slab that uh, Grandpa and my uncle poured the other day. 
dirty right now. We got to mop it, but this will actually be the only level spot in the shop. I'll be able to do uh, hang our bodies back here and all that good stuff. Obviously, I got to get some lights on the wall, but this table was back at the very back, so we're going to move it up here and put it towards the front. Uh, use it as a metal table, stuff like that. And then we also moved uh, the brake that was in the back up here as well. I don't know if this light's on in here. I think it is. This was the paint booth room, and we've got it. I, I mean, you can see how run down it is, but we've got it cleaned out. So we're actually going to use this room again, which is nice. But if you guys have been watching for however many years or, or what have you, you'll know that this room was slammed full of crap too. And, and so we're making progress on it. So this is gonna be the biggest shock to most of you. We got our sand blaster cleaned up and uh, ordered the parts we needed to fix it. And then all of this area right here is finally cleared out. So there's been junk here since I've moved back in. And as you can see, it is finally clean. We still got to mop and do all that, but clean off all these shelves, but they're all actually cleaned off junk wise. Now I just need to go back through an SD20 and clean everything. Getting our bolt bin figured back out. But uh, we've made major progress in here. That was my old toys whenever I was a little kid. Found those. Well, that's gut man leaving, but I forgot to record. Now Rich is pulling me down here in this pit cart. So this is not very safe, but I did. Uh, we recorded our podcast and then I, oops, and then I forgot to, uh, I forgot to record more. So this is what we're doing. We're taking this down here to dad's shop so that, uh, he can work on it. We're going to turn it into a merchandise stand to uh, haul to all the races in our merchandise trailer next year, just in case the trailer can't get in there and do it. This is what we uh, came down here to hang up as well. We've got all of Dad's hoods up, Francis's door, the pink Cadillac nose. That's all the side off of Brandon Jones' car when he won, and then still got to hang that nose up. Dad also put new lights in his building last time y'all seen it. This is a 1991 Sportsman win. That's a young gut man right there. Look at that. All right, just got back up here to the apartment, but I know the video kind of got all over the place there at the end, but I at least wanted to show you guys an update. I didn't even show you the race car. Um, it's down there in the trailer right now, so I'm not gonna show it to you until like the next video, but it's a brand new car, powder coated, all that good stuff. Uh, but I just wanted to thank you guys for tuning in, as always. Thank you for sticking with me dur during the uh, scatteredness of this video <laughs> here at the end. But thank you so much. Uh, if you haven't already, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. We've got a lot of cool stuff uh, ready to rock and roll here at Huffman Racing, and I'm super excited to get 2024 going. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. I'm out.